It appears the Carolina Panthers have selected another quarterback to put in their quarterback room, Matt Corral from Ole Miss. He's their latest selection in 2022 draft, so we're going to be looking at a couple of highlights that he has on tape across multiple channels, uh, multiple distributors, so we're going to get into that just a little bit. Now, whatever you think of the trade, whatever you think of the play, whatever you think of the player is up to you. Put that down in the description below, but we're going to look at a couple highlights like this throw right here. Come on. I can see DJ Moore doing that. Let's get into the rest. All right, so I really like this play from Matt Corral. One, two, three step drop, pivot, throws, delivers across the field. You can easily see Robbie Anderson or DJ Moore running a route like that, and he hits him perfectly in stride. And obviously, the RPO is there with Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. Could be a deadly one two combination. Now, I don't know what the playbook is going to be looking like this year under Ben McAdoo. But he has the ability to run. He's not an elite athlete. We know that. But he's seen SEC speed. He can pull the ball and run or hand it off. He's, that's a system that he's comfortable in. So I really like that addition at this point. One thing that I've seen a lot of professionals or experts say is that he wants to make every throw. And he thinks he can make every throw like this. That's a dangerous throw. He connects. But it's very dangerous. Look at it one more time. It's just over the fingertips of the defensive back. That's a. I gotta like the heart. I gotta like the challenge, right? People talk about progressing through your reads. Here he is. Goes through three looks. One, two, three. Fires it. I guess it wasn't really technically going through three looks. It was more of a pump fake and then look that way. And then goes into his second decision. Makes the completion. Nice little dump off pass here. And that's another touchdown for Ole Miss. Here's one other throw that kind of worries me before we get into the real highlights of everything. He oh, underthrows his wide receiver by quite a bit. Didn't need to overthrow him. It was a safe throw, so you can't complain too much. But you don't want to see that at the NFL level. Right. <laughs> that's an impressive throw. All right, we got to look at that one more time. Look at the defensive end actually make connection with the top of his helmet. Right there, still hits the wide receiver in perfect stride. Beautiful, beautiful throw. Yes, it is against Tulane. I get that. Not the most elite of defenses, but he did go on and get better as the season went on. It felt like, and he's seeing SEC defenses at that point in time. Another good RPO opportunity. Instead of handing it off, takes it himself. I'm fine with that. I don't know if his speed's going to translate well to the NFL game. Obviously, we all say it. We all see it. The NFL is much faster. No matter how fast the SEC is, the NFL is faster. Um, so, you know, he has athleticism. He's not afraid to show it. He's not afraid to take chances with his legs. I'm okay with that. Another throw with good use of eyes. Handoff. Holds it. Holds it. Throws it. A little underthrown, but that is a pretty ball. A very soft touch. Nice High arc, let your wide receiver go up and get it. In this scenario, he underthrew him by a little bit, but it didn't didn't affect it. One, two, finally finds the third, wide open. If you have an offensive line that gives your quarterback the time to do that, I'm a big fan. However, watch his quick, short pump. Some people criticize it. Some people love how quick or short his release is. If you follow Chris Sims on Twitter, he says that his quick release and accuracy it makes him the number one quarterback prospect going into the NFL in the league. That's Chris Sims' number one quarterback. On the flip side, some people say that he launches the ball, kind of chucks it. Very similar shot put style to Phillip Rivers. So take with that what you want. This next play is something that's very similar to what the Carolina Panthers would run. Again, we don't know Ben McAdoo's playbook, but obviously with the talent that you have surrounding him, this looks like something that they would run in the red zone. An RPO or a handoff uh, play action to Christian McCaffrey. Tuck it, throw it to the tight end. That's a pretty good throw. He understands, he reads the defense well. It's a good throw. All right, I, I really need some help with this throw. Just based on where his helmet is, I know there's a weird camera angle. Does this look like a no-look pass? Just just tell me this, okay? Watch his helmet and watch where the ball ends up. He's looking over the middle of the field, but the ball ends up on the sideline almost. Look at that one more time. One more time, okay? He's near the middle of the field. Looks like he looks straight downfield. Leads his wide receiver 15 yards to the left. Regardless, a very good throw. 
Here's one that looks just at the arm strength of Matt Corral. He absolutely can sling the ball. Look at the speed and the velocity he gets on this. With that short pump, he's able to deliver the ball on a strike. Wide receivers better be ready. Here's a game against Liberty where he has a clean pocket, a clean look, the ability to just sit back and deliver a ball 40, 45 yards down the sideline. It felt like at times Sam Darnold was a little afraid to push the ball down the field, whether that was coaching calls, the plays that were called, or just not having time behind an offensive line. Here's what he can do with a little bit of time against Liberty. Corral, another clean pocket going up top. Near side, passes caught. Those are from the 45 all the way down to the 10 yard line. I'm a big fan of that. Another play, just wide open, hits him in stride, puts it right there on his chest, hits him in the numbers. And you that's good accuracy. I don't care who you are. That's significant accuracy hitting him on the run. It feels like as we're going through some of these highlights, he got better and better as the season went on. And that's probably the coaching of Lane Kiffin, right? Lane Kiffin has done that with numerous quarterbacks, has had very successful offenses in the past. And uh, he just got better as the season went on, in my opinion. Obviously, this is not showing the low lights of Matt Corral's career. This is the highlight. So we're seeing, theoretically, the best of the best that he put together in 2021. Kept, listen, although the wide receiver got drilled, he kept his wide receiver from being murdered on the field by throwing it a little bit behind him. I like to think that was by design. Slows him down a little bit, and he takes the big hit rather than lead him into the hit. I hope that's by design, and if so, that's great awareness from the quarterback. I like how bouncy he is on his feet. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not a quarterback's coach, but I like how bouncy he is on his feet. It reminds me a little bit of Russell Wilson, where you're always on your tiptoes so that you can explode and drive the ball off that back leg whenever you land on it. I think that keeps him in good timing. And watch this one, okay? Bouncy feet delivers a strike. Sits in the pocket, bounces, bounces, bounces. Finds the open man, gets it over the defender, kind of floats it in there. That's a great play, great throw. Now that we've seen a couple of plays, a couple of his highlights, some of his runs, some of the touchdowns that he's made from Ole Miss in the 2021 season, let me know what you think of the pick. Did the Carolina Panthers reach too far? Did they get a prize? Did they, did they find a diamond in the rough? Or is this going to be an NFL project that's going to take a lot of work and it's just throwing a dart and hoping to see what sticks? We asked this question about an hour ago, how you're feeling with Matt Corral as a quarterback, just talking purely on the field. I know. There's the alleged off the field incidents. There's uh, some some purely speaking on his on the field ability to be a quarterback. I'm not talking about the draft capital they gave up. I'm not talking about the circumstances that they're in. Just purely Matt Corral as a quarterback. How do we feel? And so far, we've got almost 30 votes and 80% of you think, hey, I'm happy. This is a W. This is the guy that I wanted to go out and get. People that say needs work, NFL project. Totally understandable. I get that. I think there is a lot for him to learn. I probably fall underneath this bucket. But apparently no one's taking this as an L, which I think is a huge win for the Carolina Panthers. They addressed the offensive line, getting who a lot of people wanted locally, keeping a Charlotte boy in the Carolinas. And now you go out in this quarter, get Matt Corral. Some people wanted Sam Howe. I've seen a lot more film on Sam Howe than I have Matt Corral. And I don't think Sam Howe was going to be the answer. That's just me. If you feel different, drop it in the comments below. Find us on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. If you follow us on any of those platforms, I promise you we will follow you back. We'll be getting back into the All Access podcast closer as we get to the Carolina Panthers season. So stick around. Stay tuned. We have some big plans for the show, and you're going to be really excited. You're going to absolutely love it. I guarantee it. Okay? Put Matt Corral into the lineup in 2023. Set it and forget it. Ron Co. Rotisserie Chicken Cooker. It's going to be done. It's going to be perfect. It's going to come out mm, beautifully. I'm excited about it, and I hope you are too. Keep pounding. Panther Nation, have a good one.